Imagine a world where the sunsets are blue, rains are made of glass, and the winds whistle at a speed nearly seven times the speed of sound. Welcome to the fascinating universe of exoplanets. As we venture beyond our own solar system, we encounter a universe teeming with the bizarre and the wonderful. Seemingly plucked from the pages of a science fiction novel, exoplanets are planets that orbit stars outside of our own solar system. Their existence challenges our understanding of planetary formation and composition, and they present an exciting frontier in the quest for extraterrestrial life. The diversity of these celestial bodies is truly staggering. From gas giants that dwarf Jupiter to rocky planets only a smidge larger than Earth, the exoplanets we've discovered so far are as varied as they are numerous. And when we say numerous, we mean it. The tally stands at over 4,000 and counting. Each new discovery adds another piece to the cosmic jigsaw puzzle, helping us to understand the universe and our place within it. A significant contributor to these discoveries is the Kepler Space Telescope. Launched in 2009, Kepler's mission was to search for Earth-like planets orbiting other stars in our galaxy. Rather than scanning the entire sky, Kepler focused on a small patch, observing over 150,000 stars simultaneously. In its nine-year mission Kepler discovered over 2,000 exoplanets many of which could potentially support life. From worlds where it rains rubies and sapphires to planets that orbit not one but two stars, Kepler has revealed a universe more diverse and fascinating than we could ever have imagined. But the question remains, how do scientists uncover these celestial wonders tucked away in the vastness of space? How do they sift through the cosmic noise to find these distant worlds? The answer lies in a combination of innovative technology, painstaking observation, and a whole lot of patience. So, how do scientists make these extraordinary discoveries? Let's delve into the intriguing process. Scene Script Discovering a new planet isn't as simple as peering through a telescope. It involves a complex web of scientific methods and sophisticated technologies. Indeed, the art of planet hunting is a fascinating endeavor, one that combines the keen eyes of astronomers with the most advanced tools of modern science. Let's delve into the two leading methods employed in the search for exoplanets. Celestial bodies orbiting stars beyond our solar system, the transit method, and the radial velocity method. First we have the transit method. Picture a distant star, its light reaching us across the expanse of space. Now imagine a planet, an exoplanet, passing in front of that star. This transit as it's called causes a slight but detectable dip in the star's brightness. By observing these minuscule changes in light intensity, astronomers can infer the presence of a planet. They can determine its size, its orbit, and even glean insights into its atmosphere. It's like discovering an invisible presence through its shadow. Then there's the radial velocity method, which might sound a bit more complex, but it's equally ingenious. This technique involves observing the gravitational tug a planet exerts on its host star. You see, as a planet orbits, it causes its star to wobble ever so slightly. This wobble alters the color of the star's light that we see, shifting it towards the red or blue end of the spectrum. By analyzing these shifts, scientists can deduce the existence of an exoplanet, and even estimate its mass and orbit. These methods are not just theoretical, they're the backbone of planet hunting, and have been remarkably successful. Each planet discovered opens up a new world of possibilities, a new frontier for our understanding. Each one adds a piece to the cosmic puzzle, broadening our knowledge about the universe and our place within it. These techniques have led to the discovery of thousands of exoplanets, each one unique and intriguing. And as we continue to refine these methods, who knows how many more worlds we'll uncover in the vastness of the cosmos. The transit method is akin to observing a tiny eclipse happening far away in the cosmos. Imagine you're gazing at a star, and suddenly, you notice a slight dimming of its light. It's as if something were passing in front of it, blocking its light ever so slightly. This, my friends, is the essence of the transit method, a technique that scientists use to hunt for planets beyond our solar system, also known as exoplanets. The transit method capitalizes on a simple premise. When a planet orbits around its star, there will be times when it passes between us and its star. This event is known as a transit. As the planet transits, it slightly reduces the star's apparent brightness, creating a small, temporary dip in the light we receive. By observing these minuscule changes in a star's light, scientists can detect the presence of a planet. Now you might be wondering, how does this method help us determine the size of the planet? Well, it's quite ingenious. 
the amount of light a planet blocks is directly related to its size. A larger planet will block more light, causing a deeper dip in the star's brightness, while a smaller planet will block less light, causing a shallower dip. By measuring the depth of these dips we can estimate the planet's size. Of course this method isn't without its limitations. For instance, we can only detect planets that orbit in such a way that they pass between their star and us. Moreover, the method requires precision and patience as it necessitates observing the star's light over extended periods. Despite these challenges, the transit method has been a game-changer in the field of exoplanet discovery. It's through this method that we have discovered thousands of exoplanets providing us with invaluable insights into our universe and our place within it. This method has proved to be remarkably effective but it's not the only tool in our planet-hunting arsenal. The radial velocity method on the other hand is all about the dance of stars and planets. Imagine a waltz, where stars and planets are the performers. They move in rhythm, each affecting the other's movement. This cosmic dance is what the radial velocity method leverages to detect exoplanets. In this method we don't watch the planet directly. Instead we observe the star it orbits. You see as planets orbit stars they exert a gravitational pull that causes the star to wobble ever so slightly. This wobble although minuscule can be detected from Earth. To understand this think of a dog running around its human during a walk. The human while appearing to walk in a straight line actually moves in a small circle responding to the pull of the dog's leash. Similarly a star under the gravitational pull of an orbiting planet moves in a small circle or ellipse. The key to the radial velocity method is the Doppler effect. This phenomenon, which you've probably noticed when an ambulance passes by with its siren blaring, affects light just as it does sound. When a star moves towards us, its light waves are compressed, making them appear bluer. When it moves away, the light waves stretch, making them appear redder. By analyzing these shifts in color or spectroscopic shifts, scientists can measure the star's wobble. The beauty of the radial velocity method is that it provides us with more than just the presence of a planet, it also helps determine the mass of the planet. By measuring the size of the star's wobble, we can infer the mass of the planet causing it. The larger the wobble, the greater the planet's mass. In this manner, the radial velocity method allows us to not only find exoplanets but also to begin understanding their properties. It's like getting to know someone's dance moves before you ever see their face. Using these methods, astrophysicists are not just finding new planets but also learning more about their nature and composition. The universe is vast, and our journey of discovery has just begun. As we delve deeper into the cosmos, the tools we use to navigate and understand it are ever-evolving. The future of exoplanet discovery is bright, glittering with the promise of new technologies and missions that will undoubtedly change the way we perceive our place in the universe. In the coming years we can expect a host of new missions dedicated to exoplanet discovery. For instance, the James Webb Space Telescope, a collaborative project led by NASA, ESA, and the Canadian Space Agency, is set to launch soon. This powerful observatory will peer into the distant universe, capturing images with unprecedented clarity and detail. It will help us identify potential exoplanets and study their atmospheres, providing crucial information about their composition and climate. Moreover, the development of new technologies will revolutionize how we search for and study exoplanets. Advancements in artificial intelligence and machine learning are already being employed to sift through the vast amounts of data collected by space telescopes, identifying potential exoplanets more efficiently than ever before. Then there's the intriguing prospect of finding life beyond Earth. With each new exoplanet discovered, we inch closer to answering one of humanity's most profound questions. Are we alone in the universe? As we develop more sophisticated tools to study these distant worlds, we increase our chances of detecting signs of life, whether it be microbial or more complex. The future of exoplanet discovery is not just about finding new planets but about deepening our understanding of the universe and our place in it. It's about pushing the boundaries of human knowledge and ability, opening up new frontiers of exploration, and daring to ask questions that challenge our perceptions of reality. As we continue to explore the cosmos who knows what fascinating worlds we'll uncover next. The universe is full of surprises waiting to be discovered.